This is an instructional video on how to export data from ArcMap. The first thing that you want to do is highlight the layer that you want to export, or at least know where it is in your project. In this case, I'm going to export out my parcel data set, which is cutting in parcels. Uh, the next thing that you want to do is uh, locate your clear selected features button on your toolbar. Uh, mine's over here, way over on the left side, right here. Uh, you may have your clear selected features button up here in, in one of your toolbars, but it's usually in this toolbar that has your zoom in, zoom out, pan, zoom to full. It's usually right in there. So you want to make sure that that's grayed out. If it's not grayed out, it means you have features selected in your data set like this. So as you can see, I've got some of these highlighted and my clear selected features button is not grayed out anymore. What will happen if you try to export this data set right now is you will only uh, export these four parcels. You won't get the entire data set. But if you clear them, you'll get the entire data set. So it's important to make sure that that's cleared. Once that's done, you right click on your parcels, scroll down to data, export data, and you get your export features uh, data box pop up. From here, what you want to do is you want to uh, specify your output feature class. So we're just going to browse and uh, I'm going to put this in a folder where I know I know where it is so I can quickly navigate back and locate it. So I'll go to D, Work, GIS. This is where I like to keep my data. So once I'm done there, the default is file and personal geo database class for the save as type function. And uh, what we want to do is we want to change that to shapefile. So what we'll do is we will change that to shape. And then we can see that uh, our name by default is export output dot shape. Now you can leave it as export output. But what I like to do is give it a name that I can more easily uh, remember. So I'm going to call it shape, our parcels.shape. Once we save that, we hit OK. That's going to export out the features. From here, we can, uh, we can add it to our map as a layer if we want to. I'm going to say yes. You can see that they're all in purple. And then uh, what I like to do is I like to right click and click zoom to layer. And uh, this is just going to give me an idea of the area where it, the, the parcels are located. This way I can make sure that I did export all the parcels that I wanted to. And so here they are. Once you are done with that, I'm going to right click this and remove it from my project because I don't want it in there. But I want to zip it up now. So uh, the next step is to uh, navigate to it using your Windows Explorer. And the best way to get that is uh, by uh, hitting Windows E on your keyboard. And that's going to bring up your Windows File Explorer. From here, we can navigate to the D drive, Work, and GIS. And if we scroll down, this is our parcels data. So when you are uh, sending a person a shape file, uh, a big misnomer is the only thing you need to send them is this, the parcels.shp. That's a very important part of what makes a shapefile, but all of these layers is what constitutes a shapefile, and you need them all if you're going to view that data. So what I do is I click on the top one, and then I hold my shift key, and I click on the bottom one, and now I get all the, all the different uh, components of the shapefile named parcels, the CPG, the DBF, PRJ, SBN, all these are what makes up a shapefile. So once you have all these highlighted, you can right click and uh, navigate over to compress a zip folder. And when you do that, it creates a parcels.zip and this is the one that we want to send. Once we have our parcel data set uh, exported and zipped up, it's really easy for us to just grab that parcels.zip and drop it into an email and send it to the people we want to give it to. And it's done. 
If this video has been uh, instructional and helpful, feel free to give it a like, and I will talk to you in the next one.